Hey, what's going on folks? This is Keith and you're watching Barber's Auto Help. Thank you so much for watching. Well, I've got before me here a Ford Duratec 2.0 HE engine. And what we're going to be going over today is how to replace the camshaft position sensors on it. It has two. It has an intake camshaft position sensor and an exhaust camshaft position sensor. The intake camshaft position sensor is also known as camshaft position sensor bank one sensor one. And the exhaust camshaft position sensor is also known as camshaft position sensor bank one sensor two. And you can see here, if you can imagine, up underneath this valve cover, you have two camshafts, one on the front here, which is on the intake side. So that would be your intake uh, camshaft. And then you have the exhaust camshaft on the back there where the exhaust comes out. So that's why they're called intake and exhaust camshaft position sensors, if you were wondering. And just for reference, as you can see here, this is where your accessory drive would be, where your serpentine belt is. Uh, this right, right back here is your high pressure fuel pump, just to give you an orientation as to where these things live. It's right here on the back side of the engine, just before the transmission starts back there on the top. As with most projects, guys, you want to make sure that the vehicle is off and cool. Also, I would suggest having the negative battery clamp disconnected from the battery and isolated. Now, for the sake of keeping the video quick and easy and to the point, we're just going to be concentrating on the intake camshaft position sensor. The exhaust camshaft position sensor removal and installation is basically the same. It's just another position there. So what we'll need to do first is we'll need to disconnect our electrical connector. And you can see right here, you have a connector with a lock tang on it. You push down on the center part to release the lock. Then you pull away from the camshaft position sensor like so. And then you can see up underneath here, and I've got the fuel line pulled up just a little bit so you can see. You have a hold down nut or bolt, and it has an 8mm head on it. You want to go ahead and loosen up that nut. And by the way, you can use a socket on that with a ratchet. Um, I just happen to have an 8mm handy, so we'll go ahead and use this for the video. Okay, once you got your hold down bolt removed, you can then just pull right up on the camshaft position sensor, just like that. And I like to take a rag and kind of wipe out in there. Mine's not too dirty, but uh, just take your rag, wipe this out really good. Don't let any dirt or anything fall down inside the valve cover. And then take your new sensor. It's basically reverse procedure. Uh, not a bad idea to put a little bit of oil on this O-ring right here. And I'm reusing this sensor here. I'm just showing you guys how to do this. But you want to make sure it's nice and clean and lubricate that O-ring really well. Put it back in the hole there. And wiggle it back and forth to kind of push it down. And you'll notice that this bolt has just a little bit of Loctite on it. I put just a little dab of blue Loctite and then go ahead and reinsert your bolt there. Now, I don't imagine that the torque on this bolt is any more than 89 inch-pounds. Don't quote me on that, though. Uh, always refer to your repair manual for specifications. And I would recommend using a torque wrench on it to do it correctly. And no, this is not a torque wrench. This is a box-end wrench, which is taking way longer than it needs to. Now once you got it snugged down or torqued down, you can go ahead and reconnect your electrical connector. Make sure it snaps. Give it a tug, make sure it's secure. And there you go. Well guys, that is it. Uh, this is just a continuation of my series on the 2012 to 2018 Ford Focus 2.0 equipped with a DPS6 transmission. Albeit this 2.0 Duratec HE fits in some other vehicles too. So this information may apply to those vehicles as well. Of course, do your own research. As always guys, I would like for you to please read the description down below this video or to the side of the video, however YouTube has it formatted. Please read in the entire thing before you attempt this or apply any of this knowledge. I may need to clarify some things. So that's where I do that. And please read the disclaimer at the very end of it. Please like and subscribe. Thank you guys.